Ooh, loose serve from Peter Gator. Gator doesn't like the call. But no overall from the umpire. Well, I don't think we'll see it from that angle. But you can certainly see the reaction of the Dane. He immediately wasn't happy. Uh, that one finds the back line, so. <laughs> well, now it's Targo's turn to say I'm not convinced by the call. <sighs> Goodness me, I'd hate to be a line judge. Having to make those split-second decisions. Question that time, so definitely long of that back line. Ten, six. Oh, brilliant. Peter Gator just calmly soaking up all the attacking play. Pushing his opponent deep into court and then the beautiful guided shot towards the net. Pushed him to the back. There he goes. Then brings him forward. Uh, breaks the string of his racket in trying to retrieve that last one. Targo. And the frustration for the youngster because he's five points adrift at the mid-game interval. Klaus Bolson, Danish coach. New racket for Targo. And a new shuttle to resume play after the mid-game interval. Pushes it wide. It was good judgment. He, he could have played that Targo. Chose to leave it in. It was a wise decision. Uh, his movement back in court is lightning quick. Seemed almost casual in the early stages of that rally. Then suddenly that explosive movement back Backwards to get behind the shuttle and thunder down that winning smash. Oh, terrific. <laughs> Well, he hasn't been former world number one for no good reason. Little trickery there. Totally deceiving his opponent. Looked as if he was going to lift it and then somehow sort of played an inside-out shot and played cross-court net shot. Yeah, 
Well, not a lot you can do, in all honesty, when the tight spinning net shot. Shuttle was actually tumbling. It was upside down as Targo was trying to play it, and that really does mean you can get no control of the shot whatsoever. That's why he made the error. Yeah, block on that occasion, too loose. Peter Gade has got too much experience. He's going to pounce on that. Three times he's won world championship medals. One silver, that was back in 2001. A couple of bronze in 1999 and 2005 really has achieved virtually everything apart from an Olympic medal. Semi-finalist in Sydney Olympic Games in 2000. Lost the bronze medal playoff match, Peter Gader. Uh, good smash. Good judgment. Just long of that back line. Summer's over. 16, 10. Oh, what a pity. Really earned the opportunity. Chitago completely mishit his final shot. Seven point advantage now for the Dane. Oh, yes. That is a clear demonstration of how and why it's so important the tight spinning net shot in men's singles. He's possibly so afraid of the attacking play of Peter Gader. Trying to play the perfect shot every time. Targo, and in doing so, he's not giving himself margin for error. Very aggressive. Well-constructed rally by Peter Gader. was looking to come forward, looking to be aggressive. Yeah, very good judgment. And now nine game points to the Dane. I thought it was going over. That one certainly has. He doesn't make the same mistake. And the Japanese youngster 
really needs to stay with the Dane in these early stages of this second game. Yeah, now you see that's a typical sort of desperation shot, if I can describe it like that. Going for something that really wasn't on and therefore making the error. And even the body language of Targo is a little bit concerning for all Japanese fans. Yeah, looks to have run out of ideas. But let's give credit where credit's due. Peter Gaida has really taken this match to his opponent. It's not over yet. Oh, yes, that will help the confidence of Kenichi Tago. Yeah, that's what he was trying to do those couple of rallies ago. But this time, got up to the shuttle well, reached up high, took it as early as possible. Oh. My word. Well, you've just got to admire it, haven't you? just sort of feel Three, that if seven. the Japanese youngster, if he could just stick in the rallies a little bit longer, surely the Dane at the age of 32 can't keep this sort of pace going throughout the entirety of a three-game match. Well, that's just wasted opportunity. And listen to the crowd's reaction. A smile from Targo. He knows that's inexcusable. I suppose that's the only thing to do, laugh at yourself. There's an error as well from the Gator racket. Oh, it's well back. This is a good rally. Oh, and it's a super shot to end the rally from Kenichi Tago. That slice cross court once again, reaching up high, taking it early. And in slicing across the feathers, creates deception. right back in it oh no I don't believe it another error on the high serve another point just gifted to Peter Gaida well he's smiling but inside he's surely got to be livid with himself for that 
Serving out wide would create an angle for Gator to work with anyway. Oh, finds the corner. That is perfection from the Dane. Well, there's no lack of commitment from Targo. The dive up so quickly. Thought it was going to go out. But it finds the corner. Yeah, he's pleased with that. Why not? 10-5. Rally commanded from start to finish by the Dane Peter Gaynor. Genichi Targo just having to react whatever the Dane was throwing at him. And it means that the number three seed, Gaida, goes to the mid-game interval with a six-point advantage. Look at this, just having to react. And no point in that rally did he take the initiative. And I would suspect that the Japanese coach is saying to him, come on, try and attack the Dane. Try and at least command the rallies. Make him twist and turn. Push him to all four corners of the court. Well, there's a Danish fan. That's just phenomenal. Gets back quickly, Five. finds the angle. And certainly at the moment, Peter Gader is giving his opponent a bit of a lesson. Oh, that's miles in. Sure, the crowd here at Queen Elizabeth Stadium in Hong Kong would love to see this match go the full distance. Oh, finds the corner, the deception. What a difference when he starts making the move first. of super serious semi-finals last year for this Japanese youngster the Indonesian Open went to three games against Simon Santoso and then in the Japan Open his home event lost in the semi-final to Sonia Dwi Conchoro but his first semi-final of 2009 Gator, his fourth semi-final of the year. Of course, he went on to win the Korean Open in January, second of the Super Series events. Oh, yes. Yeah, a little more aggression, a little more purpose in his play.
Yeah, well, I said not so long ago that if Targo could just extend the rallies a little bit, I thought the Gator would struggle with this intensity. And there's just signs to me that he's one or two errors are creeping into his game because he's so anxious to finish off the rallies as quickly as he possibly can. Yeah, there's an error of the error. Going for a very acute angle. Doesn't want the long rallies. That's a good return of serve. So aggressive. Pounced on the low serve. And it seems to me as if Targo, when well, he made those two errors on the high serve, serving out wide. I wonder if he's lost a bit of confidence on any of his serves. Japanese player just sends he's just got to hang in there because there's no doubt in my mind the errors are creeping in to Gator's game there's only three points in it that sort of oh goodness gracious service fault called Racket not pointing in a downward direction. Well, didn't see the serve there. Which is good attitude of Targo when he's made errors, when he's been called a fault on his serve. Just smiles. But it really has gifted the opportunity. And the momentum back to the Dane. Just looking as if he was going to serve before Peter Cater was anywhere near the ready position. Yeah, doesn't know what to try, doesn't know whether to serve forehand action or backhand. Yeah, he's going to have to sort that out if he wants to fulfill his p potential. Good angle from Peter Gaeta. Danish teammate sitting just in front of me, applauding that winner. Is that down and possibly out? Only two points required from Peter Gaeta. Remember, he was champion here back in 1997. 12 years ago. Two points needed for his second appearance in the Hong Kong Open final. That's one of them. Seven match points now for Peter Gaida. And that's long. And the 32 year old Dane has found his form once again.
playing like a youngster. Can you believe 12 years ago he was champion here at the Hong Kong Open and now in 2009 he's through to the final once again. Victory over the 20 year old from Japan, Kenichi Targo. The margin 21 12, 21 13 in just 35 minutes. This the moment of victory. Through to the final once again. The second final of the year.